Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush and in this video we will have a discussion about parameter files. While we are working as a Oracle DB, you need to deal with these parameter files on the daily basis. Because whenever you are starting your database, your database will be start up with the parameter files. Now we have a two kind of parameter files in our Oracle databases. Here you can see the headlines parameter files and as I said we have a two kind of parameter files so let me put it over here the first one is our SP file and second one is our P file now you will ask me what is the difference between these two files what is the difference between this SP file and the P file why we have these two kind of parameter files in our Oracle database the first thing is about our SP file. SP file is the binary file which can be understood by the Oracle databases. And the P file is our text file. So as I said, it's a text file and it is our binary file. Now the next question is when we have a two files how can i understand that whether our database is started with the sp file or p file and how is the parity how oracle will decide how to start the database with the parameter files which parameter files he will take that is also one good question so by default whenever we are starting our database it will search for the sp file only because it's a binary file which can be understood by the oracle databases so if sp file is not available while starting the database it will start with the p file which is our text file so parameter file in parameter file sp file is always taking the more priority with respect to you to the oracle database startup process so if sp file is not there then it will go with the p file now why we have this parameter file like in our text file is our sp file which is in binary format if i want to make any changes just to open the file and make some changes to the parameter file i can directly go with the p file because it's a text file just open with the vi editor make the appropriate changes and close the file then you can start your param they can then you can start your database with the p file and SP file is where you need to go with the like your alter operation then only you can do the changes to your SP file is it possible to create the SP file from the P file and P file from the SP file yes it is possible it is just a simple SQL command to create the SP file to P file now let's say you have a database which is started with P file First thing is how you will understand whether the database is started with p file or sp file the command is show parameter sp file show parameter sp file sp file now if you get the output you will get the output like some path will be there and the sp file location you need to understand that the database has been started with the sp file if you do not get any kind of the output you need to consider that your database has been started with the p file as i said earlier you can create your sp file from the p file and vice versa it is also possible now if you have a database which is started with the p file you made some changes to the parameter file okay next time your database will start up with the sp file now what will happen the changes you which you have done on the p file so in order to make the you know synchronize of these changes p the p file with the sp file you need to create the new sp file from the existing p file i hope this is pretty much clear so we have a p file here this is the sp file now you made some changes with this p file so you have a new p file next time you start up the database okay so i'm assuming here you have start up your database with p file okay 
now you have you are doing the startup operation what will happen since you have a sp file available it will start up with this sp file but which is a old sp file which is a old sp file now you need to make sure that whatever the changes you have done on the p file that should reflect to the old sp file so what we'll do you will create you will create a new sp file from the p file now what is the command to, to create like that create sp file from p file like this here you can also mention the path of p file okay so this is just uh, introduction part about the parameter file there are many things in the parameter file that we are going to see into the future videos at this point i am requesting all of you guys please do like and subscribe so that uh, in the next video i can tell you about the parameter files into the oracle database i hope this video is quite interesting for you thank you so much for watching this video please do like and subscribe and share this channel so that the fresher who want to start their career as a oracle dba they can start it easily thank you bye bye for today